Great Capitals, and I'm back again, and guess who's with me? Mark Spencer, my all-time favorite friend of all times, of course, and today we have a special guest, Mariana, who does not want me to tell you guys her last name, for the purpose of her last name is not... It, <laughs> it is not... Um, okay. <laughs> All right. She says to me, if you know her last name, she will kill you. And I can say one thing about this girl. She has a mean hand. And a hand that <laughs> really, really do damage to you. I wouldn't joke around with this girl. But anyway, the topic today is about what would be the worst catastrophe that could happen to the world today. Now, I was thinking about something. You know, if somebody was able to take over the internet and go to everybody's bank account and maybe just take one dollar from each bank account, you know that what that would do? That would make me rich. So, folks in the YouTube land, and I know you millions of fans love me, give me your passwords to your bank accounts so I can be rich because I really don't like going to work. You know, I like to go to work. And the, the um, thing, what, why, uh, the thing, why I'm telling you about, about I don't like to go to work because I work with my hands. You want to see my hands? You see the, these hands? They're not pretty. They're manly hands. That work. <laughs> I work. I work with wood. Now, you know, real men there wouldn't sympathize with me, but gay men, they would sympathize. Oh, poor guy. Poor guy. He works with wood. You know, he just gets splinters. He gets calluses on his hands. But anyway, the point is, what I'm trying to say is that help a friend out. Uh, look at me. I got a bad hairdo. You know. Come on, I can't afford much. Look, if you got a pair do like this, you got to donate. And I, what I'm trying to say is, basically, you know, before somebody else takes over the world, why don't give me the chance to take a little bit from your bank accounts and at the same time give me a password? One dollar through a million or billion of people is going to make me happy. Just put it in my bank account. You know, we can be friends. But anyway, anyway, <laughs> I'm just talking here. You guys are probably laughing your ass off of what I'm saying. But you know what? I love you, you fans, and uh, I really appreciate that you listen to the crap that I have to say. Anyway, I'm going to give it to Mark Spencer. He has a few words to say about world catastrophe. And really, I'm one world catastrophe away from being a catastrophe. Here you go. Mark Spencer, the one and only. <laughs> hello, 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 what's up everybody, this is the one I was best I'm back once again, I'm alongside Marianne, and I'm alongside Greg, uh, I can't believe this, this is 2009, we've made it, we're here, we're breathing, what about world catastrophe, oh, world catastrophe, we're seeing it right now, it's, okay, I can tell you right now, look at the whole land, Israel, I guarantee you, you'll see snow in two weeks, wouldn't that be crazy? Wouldn't that be crazy? Snow in the whole land? No, because I've had snow for seven days and that's fucked up. <laughs> <laughs> we believe that. We've had too much snow anyway, and that's all I gotta say. Anyway, YouTube fans, I'm sorry I swore, okay? I usually don't, but I had a little bit of blackberry wine and it makes me soft on the ears. <laughs> well, I guess tonight, Greg and Marianne have had a little too much of the, the good stuff, the good drinks, so. I, don't, I mean, I got one question for you too. What kind of catastrophe are you talking about? <laughs> okay. Okay, YouTube fans. Now we're talking about major catastrophes. If you watch this, this is a catastrophe in itself because there is no catastrophe really happening. I'm, I, I'm just asking you to give me your passwords to your bank accounts so I can get maybe a dollar from each of you. You know, if you think about it, what I'm asking you for is not what the homeless person on the street asked you for. I've had homeless people come up to me and say, hey, I would like to buy a cappuccino and some donuts. And do you know that costs more than a dollar? 
So what am I asking you for? Just a little dollar, which doesn't hurt. Now, if we have one million and a billion fans watch us and donate a dollar, guess what? We're billionaires. And you know what we do when we're billionaires? We share amongst our friends. And you, my friends, and you too, Glenn, are my friends. And I will share with you. You know, you can come to my place, maybe drink some wine. And then I'll say, come back again. But anyway, what I'm trying to say is, world catastrophe, we're in a recession right now. <laughs> really, I feel the tightness. <laughs> I, I feel the tightness in my pockets. I'm telling you my pants. I'm telling you my pants. You know what you got to deal with? Christmas. You got to deal with New Year's. And that's a catastrophe in itself. You get broke with giving. <laughs> so please, please have a heart and give to us because we need it. Now, that's a word catastrophe. Help out a buddy so a buddy can help out you. Yes, and all proceeds back 3,500, 400. Anyway. <laughs> anyway, the thing is, is that if you watch this, don't take it in seriousness. This is all a good fun. And you know what I'm saying is that really help out your fellow neighbor, which I do. I remember the other day I was... Um, I was walking, and this guy came up to me and he said to me, Happy New Year. And I said, oh, he's very nice. But you know when you walk down in East Vancouver, usually when they say Happy New Year, they're going to ask you for change, which is true. So he's saying Happy New Year, how was your New Year? And he shook my hand. And I said, this is very polite. So I said to him, how much change do you want? And he says to me, oh, I, can you spare like $3? I want to buy some milk. So you know what, I, he was like, I had some change, I gave it to him. But you know what I said to him, take care, have a good time, because he said it politely. So for all you guys that are homeless, just basically, you know, ask somebody for money with respect. That's all we ask. You know, people like us, we don't have much, but we're willing to give if you ask with respect. And I think that's what the world catastrophe is about today, is that people don't respect each other. <laughs> and... I'm just laughing because it's the truth. You know, there's not much love in the world. There's not much respect. And that's really the true catastrophe in the world. We, if we had a lot of love and respect in this world, we wouldn't have wars. We'd have a lot of love. And now I'm going to give it to our new commentator, Mariana, who does not want the last name to be mentioned. Here you go. Mariana, on the mic, first time. Okay. Hold on. Okay. You're on YouTube, baby. What are you talking about? Oh, shortage of alcohol. Wouldn't that be crazy? <laughs> it would be crazy. People would actually brand the People would kill for a bottle of wine. Especially if it's the last bottle of wine. <laughs> Folks, this is coming out of a Native American. <laughs> <laughs> I'm German. <laughs> I wish. <laughs> <laughs> um, Polish. Yeah. What am I talking? I don't know what to say. I'm so sweet. Hey, help me out. I'm sorry, our Native American friend does not know what to say. She's okay. That's she is. Is. She is. <laughs> you want to hear about catastrophe? The white man came into my land. Raped my women, stole our children, and gave us booze. You see? This. <laughs> it's so sad. Can't be kept for the fun. The world catastrophe. Look at Gaza! There's billions everywhere. Fucking. Er. <clears throat> Sorry. <laughs> I don't know what to say. <laughs>
Okay. Friends, I'd like to say this is it. Good night. Good night. Good night and good luck. Everything that was said here was not meant to disturb or uh, repress slaves. Thank you. Bye. <laughs>